I find myself hungry again. We're down here in Eastern Market, right in the heart of the D. Heard about this really cool pizza place. All fresh ingredients, really unique. So let's step inside, see what they got. Dave Mancini. Tom. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. The creator Likewise. of Sapino's Pizza. Indeed. Where'd the name come from? Uh, Sapino's actually my father's hometown in Italy. Uh, it's a very small town, kind of place that if you're not from there, you've never heard of it. Uh, it's about maybe, you know, 30 minute drive from Rome. Pretty okay. close to Rome, closest uh, city you've probably heard of. I basically mixed a batch of dough, if not every day, every other day for about six years at home on a little KitchenAid mixer on my countertop, just trying to figure out, you know, what's the best way to make this happen. And I, as I did it, I more and more leaned towards that thin crust. And I, and I you know, I found a kind of a cross between how, you know, my family, they made more of a focaccia style dough. It would come out of the oven, you know, about that thick. Thick area. Which I also like, but to take that and put it inside of a crust that's, you know, the thin. It's kind of a, a cross between the Sapino, uh, the, the village of Sapino and an East Coast dough? Yeah, yeah. A crucial element in making great pizza is the dough. There's a delicate balance of water, flour, and yeast that makes the perfect dough. The pizza at Sapino are known for the delectable thin crust. Once the dough has finished being mixed, it's dropped onto a prep table in one big glob. It's then cut up into single pizza-sized portions. Each cut of dough is weighed and trimmed, if necessary, to ensure a consistent size. The rough cuts are then rolled. This process starts with a dip into a pan of flour. They are then rolled and twisted by hand into softball-sized rounds. To keep them fresh, they're stored in plastic containers. What keeps bringing people back here? Why are they coming to Eastern Market for subpoenas? Well, you know, I mean, I think they sense the level of care we put into it. You know, there's a lot of folks coming down here that are really interested in food, and they right. want to try some new things. And when people come to the market, they, they want an usual food experience. Um, you know, they want to get some great produce and some great things from out there, but they want to come and see something that's maybe a little bit different that they can't get somewhere else. And uh, I think we've been able to provide that with some of the things we do. Point in case, we've got a mutual friend, Grant, over at City Wings, yeah, right? Yeah, Grant. Grant's a great buddy. Of mine. And uh, you're doing some crazy stuff with some of his uh, product, aren't Yeah, you? well, Grant, I, you know, he inspired me. It was, we were talking about his smoked turkey, and he was telling me how he puts it on everything. He puts it on greens, he puts it, you know, the other thing, he makes green beans and he mixes it in there. And I'm thinking about it, and pizza's, you know, he puts it on everything, and pizza's the thing you put everything on. I mean, it's a perfect right. mix of two. And I just called him later, I said, you gotta, you gotta make some for me. One of the most popular is their City Wings Pizza. Another round of dough is stretched and laid out flat. Shredded mozzarella is layered on. Red sauce is spread on the surface and mixed with the cheese. A succession of special City Wing ingredients are added, starting off with cherry peppers, smoked turkey, roasted garlic, smoked gouda, and of course, fresh mozzarella. The pizza round slid into the oven for the final countdown to completion. Out of the oven and to a surface for slicing. Great. Well, that's that's going to be the one I'm, I'm going to take home. Okay. <laughs> it's a great pie. It's a great pie. <laughs> but the one I think we really want to try today is a Bismarck. The Bismarck pizza is David's favorite. He starts by hand stretching the dough into a 16 inch round shape. It's plain to see he's serious about keeping the crust thin. A layer of shredded mozzarella is spread over the surface. Next, he drizzles on red sauce and presses it into the crust. Then he sprinkles on chunks of fresh mozzarella. Thinly sliced prosciutto is layered on, which adds a salty flavor. The final ingredient is what puts this pizza into orbit. Four large eggs are cracked and nestled on top. David slides this work of art into the oven onto the brick surfaces that produces the crisp crust. After a few minutes, the finished Bismarck pizza comes out. This masterpiece is sliced and is ready to eat. It's a delicious pie, it's my favorite one. And as I was telling you, it's great after you're done, uh, you know, you're done eating the pie, you get a little crust with it, you just stuff up that egg with it. You utilize uh, product from your neighbors. Um, everyone down here seems to be like a really tight, close-knit community. Of, of restaurateurs and market people. How does that play into your business? Oh, it's been invaluable for me. I, you know, from day one, I had the support of like the guys that I bought the business from, Russell Street Deli next door. They had owned this as a different pizzeria. 
they sold this part to me, and from day one they were handing out my menus. They were telling people about me. Mike's gonna bring us a- uh, There we go. Classic American pie here. We've got the pepperoni with uh, fresh uh, sliced portobello mushrooms and calamar olives that we pitted in house. A mound of pepperoni slices are carefully arranged in a circular pattern over the dough. Shredded mozzarella is poured on, smothering the pepperoni. A helping of red sauce is added and spread over the surface. Kalamata olives, pitted in-house, are tossed on. No canned olives on the premises. Thinly sliced portobello mushrooms, cut on site, round out the toppings. In goes the pie. Out comes this fresh-baked round of mouth-watering goodness with the steam still rising. Real good, man. <laughs> nice, thin, crispy crust. Still some chew to it. And that's the idea. We want it to be... Can't beat it. We want it to be crispy, but not chewy. Not too hard to chew through, you know? I really like the flavor of the Kalamata olives put into there. Thanks for having us here. Absolutely, man. Thanks for coming in. You know what? Appreciate it. Uh, if they'll leave us alone, you and I will finish killing this pie. Sounds a great Okay? Idea. And I want to thank all of you for joining us today here in Eastern Market at Sapino's Pizza. For more information on Sapino's and other restaurants, join us at diningindthed.com.